William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com, and one of the most interesting transfer stories of the year has to be University of Colorado, Colorado Springs guard Derek White, a Division II All-American, the school's all-time leading scorer, one of the best players in the country, leaving that school to go to another University of Colorado program, this time the flagship program in Boulder, playing for Tab Boyle and the Buffaloes in the Pac-12. Uh, number one, the reason why this is so big, obviously, is you have a Division II player not just transferring up to a low major or even a mid-major school. He is transferring to an established high major program. Uh, now established in the sense that Colorado has competed in the Pac-12. They had not finished in the bottom half of the standings until this past season. And, of course, they've won a conference tournament, making two NCAA tournaments recently. The question for them will be this. Can they build the success with Derek White? And it's actually three NCAA tournaments, not two, pardon me. But can they build with a guy like Derek White? Can they beat Arizona? Can they beat Cal? Can they beat UCLA? Can they beat Washington? Can they beat those schools with a guy like Derek White? Now, he is a prolific scorer, averaging 26 points per game, 7.5 rebounds, over 5 assists per game at UCCS. He's obviously a dynamic player, but is he a high major basketball player? That's going to be the question. Now, he does have a year that he has to sit out, and he gets to develop physically, obviously get used to the competition a little bit in practice, and learn the game a little bit more. However, this is going to be something very fascinating to watch, because the last transfer that came into Tad Boyle's program uh, with one year to play, who had to sit, was Carlin Brown transferring in from Utah, and he was named the Pac-12 Tournament MOP when Colorado went on and won four games in four days before making the NCAA Tournament in the inaugural year of the Pac-12. Can Derek White be a Brown player? We'll see. But nonetheless, really fascinating stuff uh, on a really a story that stands out among the other hundreds of transfers in college basketball this year.